All right, first we have bug bot, and this is automatically gonna review our PRs to catch potential bugs and issues. So just go to the change log and click bug bot. And we can see here that it comes with a seven day free trial. And this is for catching subtle bugs that humans might miss. This is super easy to set up. Just go to your cursor settings and navigate to your integrations tab. So you should see a button to connect your GitHub. So once you've authorized that, you can click manage connections to personally select which repositories you wanna grant access to. You can toggle them on and off just like this. And then there's some custom preferences we can toggle down here. So we can change it to only run when it's mentioned. We can only run it once instead of running it for every single commit that it sees. And we can also hide these no bugs found comments, but I don't really like any of these, so I'll leave them all off. If you aren't seeing the repositories here, then you can click manage connections and then manually select them and hit save. All right, so I've already started a new cursor chat here. I just asked it to create a new branch, make a couple of fake edits and commit the changes. So it created this fake edits branch, edited our readme file, and then it committed the changes to that branch. Then I asked our cursor agent to make some breaking changes. And so it went into this route.ts and commented out the whole file and committed those changes. We can hit sync down here to make sure that those changes synchronized to GitHub. And then we can check, go back to GitHub and open a PR. I've already created the pull request for this, but you should see a big green button here to say open pull request. So we can see the commit that our cursor agent created and we can see the two commits that we made. We can see that the AI code review found the disabled by commented code issue. And then it actually gives us that entire snippet. And I think the awesome part about this is that we can fix it directly in cursor by ourselves by just clicking this button. And it's gonna open a new chat with the problematic files. All right, so we'll just recommit these fixtures and we should see that reappear in the PR. How it works is pretty simple. Every time a PR is updated, it's gonna rerun and leave comments with potential issues. So sometimes if you don't have any issues, Bugbot might not leave any comments, but we can always run it manually just by using this command here. Hopping back to the PR, it looks like it took about a minute for Bugbot to review the changes and find no bugs, but I can always follow up with it and ask something else. The Bugbot reacts immediately with this eyes emoji, which tells me that it's off to the races and we'll wait another couple minutes here to get a reply. All right, so it took about a minute to review those changes. And I can imagine that if you have two, three, four commits in one go, it's probably gonna take a bit longer for the cursor bug bot to find and review changes. All right, so the bug bot reviewed our changes and it found no bugs. I think with a huge vibe coding wave, this is a huge win for the cursor community because this code reviewer is gonna catch so many security vulnerabilities and bugs that we just don't have time to investigate when we're building our application. So you can kind of triage with the bug bot on any issues that arise and then continuously fix those issues as they come up. And then whenever you get to this point where there's no more bugs, you can just confirm the merge to push the changes back into main.